A four Pete in Bowling Green. Welcome into the Appalachian Wireless Sports Overtime Saturday night. I am Jamie McCracken. Tonight, the Belfry Pirates looking for their fourth straight state championship. Just five programs have won four straight. Belfry's opponent was a familiar one, the Century Yellow Jackets out of Louisville. Let's go out to Bowling Green. It's Class 3A state championship. Four of the Jackets' five overall titles have come against Belfry. Belfry starts with a handoff to Cameron Catron. And Mr. Catron. He gone. 58 yard touchdown run to get things popping. Seven nothing Belfry early first quarter. Central's turn now. A huge pass to you carry. Baker, he's got it. Sets up this play. Short pass to Rico White. And White, get off me bruh. 24 yard score, game tied at seven. Still in the first quarter. Belfry wants to change that though, so they give it back to Wellman. Boing, boing, boing. 65, 64 yarder. Belfry's got the lead back. It's 14 to seven with three minutes left in the first quarter. We go late second quarter now. Central wants to even it up, but Austin Willem has other plans. Go get it. He's got the interception, Belfry ball. That pick would lead to a field goal by Willem. 36 yarder, good. 17 to seven at the break. Let's go second half. Belfry gets the ball, fourth and goal. Mm. They're stopped at the goal line. Central gets the ball back, but Devin Varney gets the pick and he gets the pick six. Diving on into the end zone, 24 to seven with five minutes left in the third. All right, Central gonna try this thing again, but no, Varney picks it again. Second pick of the night, he's jacked up. Look at the vertical there. And that sets up Wellman for another score. One yard touchdown, 31-7 with 2.20 left in the third quarter. Fourth quarter now, Tavion Hunter. Bye-bye, Finney. 50 yard touchdown, that would make it 38-7. Jackets made it interesting in the fourth quarter. But in his 33rd season, Philip Haywood wins another title as we go to the Highlands Black and Blue Clinic scoreboard 52 to 31. The final score tonight, Belfry wins its fourth straight Class 3A state title, becoming the sixth team to win back to back to back to back state titles. Woo! All right, so Belfry wins its sixth state football championship, fourth in a row. Let's go out to Tanner Hesseberg and Carly Bell, who cover the game tonight for us. Guys, I'm sure you had a happy Philip Haywood and some happy players after the game. Well, that's right, Jamie. It's a party on Pond Creek again, 52-31. The Belfry Pirates knock off their old rival on this stage, the Louisville Central Yellow Jackets. Uh, Carly, another state championship, and Belfry did it by uh, dancing with the date that brought them here. They stuck to that running game, and they rode it to victory tonight. Well, I'd say 407 yards is a running <laughs> game. But here's an interesting fact. Over the six titles that Belfry has won since 2002, they have thrown the ball for a total of 15 Yards and they didn't throw any tonight. Not over even the a, four games. Over yeah. four games. So they didn't throw. They didn't even attempt to pass tonight. But here's what happened: 407 yards on 46 carries, an average of about eight, nine a carry. Mm -hmm. But here's what happened. Central took control of the ball with time of possession in that first quarter, which allowed the game to be close. But then that third quarter happened, and Belfry was able to run away with it, especially Derek Wallman, 195 yards. He was also the MVP tonight as well mm -hmm. with his 26 carries, two touchdowns, seven and a half yards per carry. And the offensive line really stepped up in the second half, which allowed Belfry to utilize that running game that they've been utilizing all season long. They got a little lazy in the fourth. You know, you're up. 31-7. Lost an onside kick. Central recover. Yeah. They were able to tack on a couple late touchdowns and make the score a lot more respectable. Absolutely. But Belfry's heart shined through enough for this big win and for the four-peat. We worked hard all year. We gave it everything we have. And, you know, Coach said if we give it everything we have from day one, in August we'd come here in this beautiful day in December, and we gave it everything we got, and we got us a four-peat. They've had a nice record, haven't they? Well, I, I can't say enough about them, and I talk with our young players about them on a regular basis. And the biggest thing is, is that their level of commitment and dedication is that they have fun and they work out, and you know they they they, get, uh, they goof off a lot. You know, I have to get on from time to time, but they they're always doing something to make themselves better at it. Uh, I mean, there's nothing really to say. It's what we wanted when we were freshmen, and now it's happened, and our hard work pays off. 
So there you have it, the fourth in a row for Belfry, sixth in school history, and Philip Haywood and his players are going to be dancing at that intersection there in <laughs> Belfry at some point and celebrating this one, Jamie. Yeah, no doubt about it, Tanner and uh, Carmen. I, I just loved how he said, hey, they got a pretty good record, don't they? I mean, these, these seniors now have won four uh, straight titles. Just amazing stuff out there tonight, guys. Uh, now, looking ahead to tomorrow, a couple of mountain teams will try to bring back another state title. Of course, Johnson Central against undefeated Franklin Simpson in 4A in Pulaski County versus undefeated Bowling Green in Class 5A. Tanner Carly, that, those are going to be some, some good games you'll have as well. Oh, absolutely. I talked to Johnson Central. They were here at the 6A game, which is going on currently. I talked to them, and I asked them, I was like, Franklin Simpson undefeated. They're like, Franklin who? So they're <laughs> they're in the right mindset, and the Pulaski football Twitter has been blown up all week, and they're ready to go. I just noticed it's the Pulaski Maroons against the Bowling Green Purple, so it's a battle of colors. That's interesting. For in that 5A. Interesting observation. For that <laughs> the Tide Bowl, if, the tide you, bowl, will. if uh, you will. Another important thing for Johnson Central, the Golden Eagles, of course, made it here last year. They did not have a good showing, so they have that experience under their belt. Of course, you know Pulaski County winning the state championship a couple of seasons ago, and uh, you know they've been on this stage as well. So both of those schools, those players, those coaching staffs will carry a lot of state championship experience into those games tomorrow. And I'm so excited for these games. These Me are too. the two games that I've been the Not most Not excited, excited for the weather, though. It's no. supposed to be just as cold as it is today, plus and add a lot of rain tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not I'm not about that. I don't want to break out the <laughs> rain boots. I'm already a little cold out here, in case you can't tell. But, Jamie, I hope you have a great rest of the show. It's been fun out here. I, I can tell you guys are a little bit cold, but, you know, quit complaining. You know, we got a mountain team coming back with a state title, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> look at them. They're just laughing. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Let's take a look now at the history for Belfry. Uh, look at the history made tonight. Belfry winning its sixth state football championship overall, fourth consecutive. The Pirates outscored their opponents 248-60 to in their five postseason games. They are now 6-7 and seven all time in state title games. Four of those losses are to Central. Now, if you want to rewatch the game that happened tonight, again, Belfry winning 52 to 31. Tune into this TV, our second channel tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. We will re air the Class 3A state championship game in its entirety. Again, Belfry Central on this TV at 8 o'clock Sunday nights. All right, let's look ahead again.